Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam, and if you love luxury fashion, then you're definitely going to love my channel. So make sure you like and subscribe, turn on those notification bells below, and today, let's get right into it. So in today's vlog, this is vlog number 5 out of 6 of my New Orleans series, and today we're going to be checking out the one and only Marie Laveau. Now, if you don't know who Marie Laveau is, Marie Laveau was known as the Fudu Queen and lived in the 1800s. She was a herbalist, a midwife, and helped a lot of people. However, she was also a character on the TV show American Horror Story. Her character was played by Angela Bassett, which is a wonderful actress. So without any further ado, let's check out the house she lived in, the cemetery she's buried at, and a little bit more of New Orleans. So now we are at the St. Louis Cemetery in New Orleans, and in this video, we're going to see a lot of great footage of Marie Laveau, and then a lot of, like, cool cemetery footage. Now, I will make it clear. In this specific cemetery, Marie Laveau is not buried. Originally, I thought she was, but it turns out she wasn't. But we're still going to see a lot of beautiful clips in this footage, and we will make our way to her tomb later on in this video. But in the meantime, we're going to take views of these beautiful crypts and these beautiful tombs. Here we can see some beautiful angels, which I honestly really fell in love with. I thought these were absolutely gorgeous, and of course, zooming in, we can see the beautiful detail on them. So now walking to the other end of the cemetery. Now, the cemetery was closed today, but I do end up coming back, and then when I come back, it is open. But to be honest, I really did like both sides of it. So, you know, in this footage, we get to see how peaceful and quiet it is. We can just take time to really look at all of the beautiful monuments and the crypts and the tombs. And then when I come back, we can actually explore it. And then here we can see that this is the St. Louis Cemetery number three. So I was indeed in the wrong one. The shot I loved right here because of the statue next to it, I felt like it was just so royal and it was just such a great shot. The emptiness in the cemetery when it was closed was just such like a weird feeling to like see and like feel. And then on top of that, we had this section right here, which was definitely like more of a vibe. Like if you know what I mean, you know it's a vibe. But you know, in a way it's scenery and it's cool to see. So now while I wait for my Uber, I'm walking around the neighborhood right next to it. And it's really beautiful. Like, I really do love all of the houses here. They're so different than Michigan, of course, especially because they do get a lot of floods here. So they're built definitely, like, a lot differently than they're more higher off the ground as well. This building right here, I really did love, but it does give me a really weird feeling. So if you see any, like, faces or silhouettes in the windows, definitely let me know, because it definitely did give me that vibe. It has this really cool gate, though. Like, I really did like the entrance of it. I thought that was really cool and unique. We have this beautiful home, too, and I really like the shade of pink of it and, like, the layout of it. I love that balcony up top, too. Continuing to stroll along, I now made my way to an alleyway, and it was funny because this spot right here 100% made me think of the movie It and Pennywise. Georgie. What a nice pony. So imagine living in these houses where your backyard is literally a cemetery. How crazy would that be? Like, what a moment. Would you be into it or no? Here we have some more cute Halloween decorations. This place was so festive in October. And to be honest, I really love that. So we are now at the corner of Marie Street, and it's just a cool name. It doesn't really involve Marie Laveau. But this shot right here, I thought this was a really beautiful street. If I was personally to live on this block, the house that I would want would be this one. It's super small, it's in the middle of like nowhere, you can hardly even see it and know it's there. But I thought this house was so cute, so I definitely loved that. And now I'm outside waiting for my Uber. I will be going back to downtown to go to the one and only Marie Lafoe's house. It is on the corner of Anne and Burgundy. And this is her actual house right here. This is where she lived. Now people do say that at night sometimes you can see a silhouette of a woman in white, which would be Marie Lafoe. And I think that's so beautiful. Now this house, it's not uncommon for people to come, take photos out, and to actually leave offerings for. Her. People will leave flowers, they will leave rocks, and they also leave pennies for good luck as well, which I actually did too. So out of respect, I did leave a penny as well. I thought it was so beautiful. And tell me, do you know which penny is mine? Right next door, there's actually apartments called Marie Lafoe Apartments, which is cool. So 
now this is the day that I'm actually going to be leaving, but I did want to say that of course I did come back to see where Marie Lefeu was buried. This is cemetery number one. However, I did know it was going to be closed and I was going to have to get over this wall. Luckily for me, my friend was really tall, so he picked me up on his shoulders and he threw me over. So with this sign, we can definitely see that it is the correct one. It is cemetery number one, so that's cool. Before like, I hopped up, I did peek through the gate and this is all I could see. But this scene reminds me of Misty Day and Emma Roberts when they fight in the cemetery, so that's cool. Okay, so I'm now on my friend's shoulders and I could actually get like a good view of the actual cemetery and it was really cool. So, you know, it was kind of difficult because, you know, I am really short and I didn't make it all the way up the wall, but I made it enough to get this footage. But this is how the cemetery looks inside. I really wanted to go to her actual tomb. However, I was not able to get to it unless I hopped the wall. But, you know, I did want to leave an offering. However, I did leave an offering anyway, so that was cool. I have been to St. Louis number one, and I have seen the tomb of Laveau, seen the fat tourists from Little Rock to Hackensack, drawing crosses on the bricks, making wishes to the bones of Marie Laveau. <laughs> Little do they know. All they have to do to get their wishes granted was come down here to the Ninth Ward and get their hair braided. And now we're back at the first cemetery that we went to the day prior that was closed. And now that we actually get to walk through it, this is really cool and 100% American Horror Story vibes. So, you know, they do have a lot of great crypts and the reason they do this is because they used to bury everybody underground, but then when they would start to flood, all of the bodies would raise up. So they're like, okay, we can't bury anybody in the ground anymore. They're gonna have to be above ground, but something that the water isn't going to take away. So because of that, that is the reason why New Orleans, they always have tombs and they have these crypts. That way, you know, their bodies can rest in peace and not be washed away. We do have some spots with a lot of character, like this one that says Richard, that's empty, but it does have the cross. We have this one, which I think is really cool. It has a cross that says saves on it. And this one I thought was absolutely like amazing because this one was just like, you know, like the most luxurious one out of all of them. So I thought that was beautiful. So walking in this open field, there was only one thing that I had to do, which was live my misty day fantasy. So here I am just strolling along and then I go and do some beautiful twirl. So twirl, twirl, and twirl. And that's it. And now we have me staring off into the scenery. Oh, and there's the camera. Hello, camera. Here we have this beautiful Mary statue, which honestly it did kind of call to me. So I did see this beautiful hand sticking out, so I did put my hand on it. And the second I did, I just felt so peaceful and I felt like this light come over me and it was just all like... And of course we have St. Michael, the Archangel, which I love his sword and his wings. They're so super detailed and I, there's even a snake on the sword too, which reminds me of Medusa in a way, so I think that's cool. And then lastly, we did have the Gallier Crypt and this one I thought was so cool because this one, I actually think it's related to Madame Lalaurie's because this is actually where like some of the family is actually buried, Madame Lalaurie. So the fact that, you know, it is a name and we just watched the vlog that was relating to her and her mansion, Really cool, and I am glad that I did get to see that. So now it's time to go back to the hotel room and pack my bags because I will be leaving in a few hours, but here is a gorgeous view of a little lake slash pond thing. And in my previous vlog, we do stop at the Madame Lalaurie mansion, and in that vlog, we do stop here as well, and this is where we leave the locks for Marie Laveau. So there is an old legend that says when you come here, you leave a lock for Marie Laveau, and you will have some good luck, and it is just like really beautiful, and you do see how many people did come here and leave a lock. So that was really cool. And then I do love how the sign does say love wins. So definitely check out this vlog if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment down below, and have a great day. Au revoir.